Hello, 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 welcome back, this is Xanthus with Xanthus Gaming, and we're here in 7 Days to Die playing a brand new mod, War of the Walkers. You may have noticed I uploaded a video yesterday, or the day before, depending on when this goes up, uh, outlining all the different classes in this mod, so if you did miss that, make sure you go check that out so you know what this mod is about. Uh, there is also going to be a description of the mod uh, in the video below, well, a link to the forum that has a description of it anyway in the video down below. And we're going to get going. Oh, there's a nuclear power plant right there. Um, where are we on the map? Where is zero, zero? Okay, so there's zero on the north-south. So right about there. All right, so we'll just kind of orient ourselves towards the center and go from there. I like to do that in general just because it gives me a way to work out and make sure I'm hitting things that I want to hit. Uh, so first thing we have to do in this mod is we have to choose a class to be, and I was thinking, trying to decide what I wanted to do. And I was thinking, at first I was thinking Builder, because I'm thinking, you know, Builder's going to be able to build the awesomest, best uh, structures, and that's going to be super important for my survival. But then I was realizing, well, that's going to be like super late game stuff, right? Um, so I might not need that right away. I'm going to probably instead need to be able to build stuff sooner that isn't quite as like intense. So then I was thinking, you know, maybe I go Tradesman. Tradesman gets like a super awesome fire axe, super awesome pickaxe. It can make diamond tipped items. And then I'm thinking, well, that might be a problem too. Because once those items break, I don't think I can repair them. So I'm thinking, mm, maybe Marksman because it's super good for like hunting and surviving and stuff. I don't know. Too many decisions to make this early in the game. Anyway, I think I'm going to settle on my original thought, which is Builder, just because it's the thing I like most in this game is building. So even if it doesn't benefit me till late game, I want to make sure that I can build those tungsten blocks and uh, build a super awesome base. I do assume that I would probably get that stuff later anyway, but I don't know. I feel like starting off with that would be good. Um, just because it's going to give me a little bit of a head start on being able to build up an initial base to survive the first horde. Oh, by the way, uh, I've rambled on for like five minutes now probably. We are playing on insane difficulty. So there's that too to consider. So, whoa. Why do I not have my starting stuff? I'm in War of the Walkers, right? Yeah, I am. Okay, well, I didn't get my starting item. It's a little bit strange. I'm just going to go ahead and cheat it in. Um, I should have gotten a starting... Well, maybe I'll get it after I do the initial bedroll quest. Maybe it'll give it to me after that. Let's, uh, let's see. If it doesn't, then I will just cheat it in. Bedroll, a.k.a. breadroll. Clear homage to games for kicks. It's pretty cool. You can get behind that. The man deserves a statue built after him. We'll see if we get it after we do the initial starting quest line. I would assume not, but usually those sort of things just start on your character in these mods. So I'm guessing it just bugged out when it generated me into the world. We'll find out momentarily. Okay, so just completed the basic survival quest. Uh, so yeah, that was... Oh, nope, it gave it to me now. There it is. Starter crate. So it just wanted us to have a bedroll down first. So we could be safe. That was nice of it. And there's some free stuff to start. Nice. All right, so we now have a scrap iron axe, scrap iron shovel. It's pretty, pretty.
pretty awesome actually. Some bandages, we got some starting materials, we have a class paper, and this is how we craft our class. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking builder. Now these are some pretty cool stuff, and the fighter class might actually be really good too. Um, but I think I'm gonna do builder. So woodworking bench, cobblestone blocks, iron blocks, tungsten blocks, house door, steel door, and tungsten door are exclusive recipes I start with. Exclusive perks, categorized storage containers level 1, builder's forge level 2, mini bikes for smart shits level 3, and mini bikes for tough shits level 3. So that's cool. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start up our quest. Uh, it's telling us we want to locate a trader next. Trader is over that way. Not really the direction we were going, but we'll go there anyway now. And our quest for our class is telling us we need to craft wood frames, gather, craft wood window, craft wood secure door okay so it's basically why us to make a wood house to start which I normally wouldn't do but we're just gonna go ahead and do that anyway cuz because um, it's telling us to uh, please be gentle with comments guys I am doing the stream after I did a full stream of heroes so I thought I had bigger backpack mod on this game but it's not looking like it's active. I'll see if I can figure out a way to get that going. Um, was it wood secure door, right? And it did give us the necessary wood we're gonna need to make all those things straight up, so that's good. Our first Z is ahead of us and we have no weapon yet, so that's bad. We better uh, get, get to get in, get a weapon going here. Uh, let's see, what can we make for weapons? We can make a bow and some arrows because we did get a bird's nest. We could also make an iron reinforced club if we were to need it, and I think we do. Um, so I think we'll do that as well. I don't know why it's not like it's crafted. We might not know the recipe for that. Yeah, it's locked behind the recipe. Okay, so we'll make a wooden club then, I guess. Alright, so we have a bow up and running. Go and knock down this rock. If at all possible, we're going to avoid some zombies on this first day. Uh, just because it is on insane mode. So. Uh, let's track this quest. Toggle it active. So they want us to gather forged iron, electrical parts, and a short iron pipe. Uh, which means we're going to need to either go into a city or we're going to need to get those things from the trader probably into a city. The forged iron might have to come from the trader. We'll see. We're going to start off just by breaking apart this rock so we have some metal to melt down just in case the trader has a working forge. Uh, we did start with some too. Not a whole lot though. I'm going to throw in some background music while we're playing I think. You guys unfortunately won't be able to give me feedback on if it's too loud or not. It's because this is a pre-recorded video, but hopefully I have the audio balance about right right now. Um, I think it should be. So let's go and throw on a little bit of future bass. All right. There we go. So hopefully that shouldn't be too loud. I think it should be about right. Just looking at my OBS levels, it looks like my voice is about twice as loud as the music, which is about what you want. So. All right, in fact, I'll even turn it down a little bit. Hopefully it's not too quiet, but we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna try and make my way over to a trader without running into any zombies. We'll see how that works out for us. There is a POI right there. We could investigate it, but it is in the snow biome. It's a little bit risky. It's half in the snow biome, half in the grass biome. I assume it's going to be snow based. There's a crate inside, so we're going to go for it.
Oh, there's a lot of guys in there. I didn't, I didn't actually craft that club, did I? We don't have very many arrows, I shouldn't have done this. They are, again, on insane difficulty. See what we got. Some shades. Very nice. Anything from this gentleman? Nope. Where's the girl? There she is. Alright. No one else in here? Cool. They just busted through on the side there. That's funny. Got some blueprint paper. That'll come in handy for us. Not sure why it was in the fridge, but you know, whatever. That's fine. It's cool. I'm not judging. Except for when I am. Hey, Anvil. Nice. Very nice. All right. Probably don't need the snow. Although, let's, yeah, let's actually, let's keep the snow because we can melt it for bottled water and stuff. So let's actually just get some more of that. As long as we're right here next to a snow biome, might as well get a bunch. Buddy, I'm busy right now. I'm, I'm gathering snow. Hey! I said I was busy. Oh god. Oh, mistakes. Get clubbed to the face. Eat wood. Wait. Um, yeah, eat my wood. Wait. Still not good. I didn't make it any better, did I, team? All right. Skater punk down. Repeat. Skater punk down. All right, let's make our way over to that trader. Complete that step of our quest. Uh, we need to gather electrical part forged iron and short iron pipe. I don't know if we're gonna be able to gather those things for a little bit. I mean, if we could find a military camp, we could probably gather all of that. But, oh man, we're, okay, it's in the, it's in the burnt biome and I hear a, either a bandit or a settler shooting at somebody down there. I wonder if there's a way that I can tell if it's a bandit or a settler. Oh, he's shooting at a zombie. So I presume... Hi. How are you doing? Good? Not shooting me. You must be a settler. She's actually shooting the tree because the zombie's behind the tree. There she goes. Right, he is... He should be dying soon. She's shooting the crap out of him. I'm just gonna hope she doesn't shoot me by accident. I wanted to get in there and do some damage so that... Oh god, I thought she was going to shoot me. What's she shooting at now? What What are you shooting? I'm trying to see what you're seeing, but I don't see anything, girl. I think you're literally just shooting the ground. Okay, you have fun. You, you Have fun with that. Crazy bitch. She's gone delirious with heat. I hear another one. This one sounds like he has a magnum. What's this? Iron. Oh, nice, an iron deposit above ground. Heck yeah, that's amazing. I already love this mod. Very nice. All right. 
trader over there shooting the ground. No big deal. Or settler, I should say, not trader. Okay, so my scrap iron axe I started with may not be the best thing ever. But hey, we got more iron now. That really didn't give us that much, did it? Alright, we're just going to leave that for now. We'll come back when we have better tools later. Fact. Can we make better tools? Tool smithing. Yeah, we can buy a rank of that. Maybe we can just make a better scrap iron club right away. Or axe, rather. That way we have something a little bit better to break things apart with. That might actually only bring us up to a 50, now that I think about it. Because that was only one rank. I assume we start with 25s, just like in everything else. We still don't have any arrows. Hey, Mr. Burning Man. How are you? I hear you have a concert. Um, can you give me directions to it? No? Okay, bye. Nice talking with you. That was rude of him. He's just like, nope. You don't get to go to my concert. Skitter, 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 skitter. How rude. How far are we from this thing? Not very far. We're almost there. There it is. Is that lead? Let's see what that is. I think that's lead. Yeah, we're only at 50 even with that point invested. Oh, it's nitrate. I don't think I need nitrate powder yet. I have some on me already though, but... Unless I can sell it to the trader, but... I doubt that. Alright. We now have found the trader, so that's good. If we could find the front entrance, that would be even better. Wait. Can I take that? He's even open for me. Blueberries, we'll take those later. Working chem station, that's good. Let's see, what else do we got? Where is the forge usually on this one? I don't remember. Salute that from him. Yeah, I actually don't know where the forge is. Presumably in that building over there, I guess. Well, there's a workbench. It's a destroyed one though. But we can take the feathers, make some more arrows. And we'll wear the shades. And then we'll take the garden hoe. Get some lead. Get some clothes out of these lockers. Nope, just kidding. Still haven't seen the forge. So I'm not quite sure where that is in here. Maybe there isn't one. I thought they were supposed to have one of every workstation, even if they were destroyed. I could be wrong about that, though. Don't really see any other options where it could really be. Because that's just where he is, right? I thought it... Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Well... It's a working forge, so that's good. So we can make forged iron, presumably. So let's start melting down some iron. Oh, there's three melting slots. That's amazing. Boom. I'll have to go out and get some clay, but we'll be crafting forged iron in no time. Time is money. I'll wager you don't have any. Sell the blueprint paper. Or keep the hammer. I feel like that's pretty valuable. Uh, we'll keep the flashlight for now, I guess. Probably don't need it, though, honestly. We can sell it. Let's just sell it. He won't take the, the lead pennies. He will take the lead, though. So let's just scrap the pennies into their base, which is red lead. 
He won't take the zinc powder. He won't take the sham. He won't take the shale. He will take the regular oil. Let's see what the recipes for oil are in this one. Molotov cocktail repair kits. We'll get more oil later. We're going to sell it for now. Uh, we're going to keep the anvil because I feel like we're going to need that. Though that's craftable, so I guess I could sell it, but... I don't really want to sell the land claim block. Alright, let's see what he's got for sale. Strawberry jam. Heck yeah. It's a lot of Duke stuff for that. Scrap helmet, that'd be cool. Blackberry juice. Very nice. There's some cool things in this mod. Herbal antibiotic animal hide. Bread of shotgun, these things are great. Oops, sorry. Flaming tungsten crossbow bolt. Nice. All right, let's look at his secret stash. I wouldn't mind that, but I don't have enough dukes, obviously, because we're just starting out. Mini bike booklet. We're actually not too far off from that. But we did have mini bikes for smart shits and tough shits to start, so we don't really need that. Alright, so... Let's go get some uh, clay real quick. Maybe on the map near us. Well, over here is a grassland biome straight... Actually, just straight north of us is grassland. So let's just head over there and we should be able to dig out some clay. And not gonna be much clay in the burnt biome, unfortunately. I think we can actually dig in the burnt biome. That might be gravel. That's gravel. I so say we might be able to dig in the burnt biome and get like fertilizer and stuff. Unless they change that. I think it's just a chance for fertilizer. I don't think it's guaranteed. But that'd be pretty cool. We don't need it right now. We also don't need that. Main goal right now today, I think, is to get that forged iron crafted so that we can get a uh, get the next step of our quest done. All right, there's a zombie bear over there. We're going to steer clear of that nonsense. We don't need anything to do with that. Probably set up shop in the grassland biome over here. Still relatively close to Trader. I'd like to know where some cities are before I set up anything. But we might just set up shelter for the night out here. Because we're coming up on nightfall relatively soon. Just make sure we don't aggro that bear. You know, for, uh, for insane difficulty, they don't seem that tough. It's like an extra two or three hits. They probably hit really hard, though, is the thing. All right, there's clay straight ahead of us here. Uh, did I miss it? Straight to the right. Right here. Clay. Side of the hill. Nice. So we're going to need this for the forged iron.
thing for sale to an idiot like you.
counterfeit money in here, are you? All right, moving on. See if we can make our way over to that town I think I found. Sorry, it's kind of quiet there. I was thinking. I got some duct tape, nice. All right, so we got our forged iron. I didn't even realize I wasn't talking. Sorry, guys. Hope you enjoyed the music. Might just cut that out. <laughs> Let's make our way over to that town that we think we found, maybe. Possibly. Got our forged iron and we're ready to go. Got a really bad knife, but it'll be good for skinning things if I need to. We have three, uh, three soups at the moment. So we got a little bit of food. Uh, I wanna kinda wait till we build a few things though before I put it, before I eat it, cause I wanna keep the cans. Because we can boil water or snowballs in them. And there's that. Another iron deposit. We're going to wait till we have a better pickaxe to worry about that. Uh, we do have forged iron stored up so that when we hit level 5, we're only level 2 right now, but when we hit level 5, we should then be able to make. Uh, pickaxes and fire axes and the like. It should help us a little. Maybe I should start working on my knife skill. Probably go for knives. We'll see. Depends on what drops for items for us. But knives might be the way to go. <sighs> this guy is a crawler. Uh, he I will kill with the club. It's a little bit less likely for him to hit me in the leg. Last thing I need is day one's broken leg. There we go. A skirt. Yeah, let's wear that. Mm. Aren't we looking fabulous? So I think up this way is where the town was. Blueberries. I don't have room in my inventory. Feels bad. There's some more back at the trader, though, so we know where to get them if we need them. Speaking of which, let's mark the trader. Uh, there we go. That way is always our map. All right, this isn't, obviously, this isn't where it is. It's pretty close to here. Let's go on top of that ridge line up there and see if we can see it. A nerd pulled up and saw a town somewhere. It's not 100% sure where. Let's see if we can see it. I'm sure he sees us. I just missed my shot. And she's down. Alright. I swear this is insane. I'll show you guys at the end. Maybe I'll cut it in to the beginning so you can see. But it is insane difficulty or it's supposed to be. Is there a way to check when I'm in the game still? No. Hmm. More blueberries. I feel like it's mocking me at this point. 
We have more zinc powder later, I'm sure. Seems to be a lot of blueberries on the path, so we'll snag those as we go. We're 50% food. Still gonna wait until we get to a place to settle down before we start worrying about eating food. Level three. Oh, just kidding, we're eat that. We keep the honey. Hate to eat those blueberries that I just picked up, but I think I'm going to. There's more blueberries back in the trader, so we can get we can get seeds for that later. It's not a big deal. The honey we definitely want to have in case we get infected. Immunity level is zero. Your immunity system level is zero. Uh, that seems bad. That seems bad. Okay, that is not a survivor. That has to be a bandit. He has a bandana and a knife. There's no way that's a survivor, right? Well, he just went up and shanked the zombie. Like, straight up murder, murdered the zombie. He's just like, boop, decapitate. Moving on. See if I nerd pull up again, if I can see where the town is in relation to where we are. We know we're safe because the survivor and or bandit is over there killing people. Oh, it's over there. We're going completely the wrong way. Is there another town? Can we see another one? Can we go so high? All right, so there's a house over there. It's like a complex over there. And then I think that's a complex over there too. I don't think that's an actual town. I think it's like a mining site or something. It's not really any towns in this area. It's unfortunate. Um, it's real unfortunate. Is that a town? It looks like the roads for a town over there. North, kind of northish. All right, we're gonna go that way because that looks like the roads for a town. It's possible the POI is just not popping in because it's slightly too far away. They don't expect you to be 40 frames up looking out. There's gotta be a limit on how far it can load, right? So we're just gonna sprint, and then when we start running out of stamina, we're gonna drink. It's gonna be a ways away from the uh, from the trader, but that's okay. We know where he is. We can come back to him if we need. It's an alpha wolf straight ahead of us. We're gonna avoid that if at all possible. So he can probably outrun us, especially with us being somewhat low on stamina already. Now, that, is, that is a town. I thought it was. I thought I saw the makings of roads. Okay, so this is definitely the way we want to go then. Okay. <clears throat> I certainly did not jump there. You can't prove it. Am I going to have to swim across the water? That'd be annoying. I think I am though. Oh, there's a purse here. Ooh, machete. Machete, machete, machete. Yes, please. Um, we're going to go and scrap the wood door. We don't actually need that. And we're going to scrap the wood windows. We can make those later. We don't actually need those. They were just for a quest. I mean, it would have been nice to kind of decorate with it a little bit, but you know, whatever. It really does not matter. I think the shortest path is just to swim straight across here. So that's what we're going to do. That house looks pretty cool. I think there's actually a garden out front already. Might set up there for the night. We'll see. It's almost nightfall, so... I feel like we probably don't want to be out for too much longer.
swim across. Slowly but surely. I think that's actually the the house that has a forge in it. Should be pretty lucky. Pretty sure that's the one Australia and I found the first time we played with combo pack. That'd be pretty cool. It was out in desert, so it would track. Okay. There's not a garden like I thought there was. That's okay. Yeah, this is definitely it. All right, so. See, I think if I remember right, I can do this. And if this is the same house, there should be, this is a different house. I see a zombie down below us. Can we get in right here? Yeah, we can. Oh, let's take care of these guys before night falls, huh? Mushrooms there. Can't quite reach him. Let's go play it safe though. Like I could break in and kill him easier, but let's just do this instead, right? Like why not? He's just like trampling the body of his friend there. That was rude, dude. It was rude. Your friend disappeared. She she didn't like being trampled, okay? That was not a nice thing to do. Hope she didn't have anything I needed. No, this is a different house than the one we found before. It's nice though, it's similar. Similar in design. I'm gonna assume those weren't the only zombies. Let me look around and see what we find. Safe room. I don't know what that's actually supposed to be, but. Assuming there's gonna be more zombies somewhere in here. I suppose that's a closet, huh? Hey, someone's shooting outside. Oh, yeah, maybe that is it. I think we're clear. I think this place is cleared. Good. Uh, so I'm going to throw, throw some stuff in the cupboards here and we'll loot this place and then that will be the first episode. We will be doing episodes of this. Um, I really like this mod, so I'm going to see what I can do about getting episodes out to you guys on a fairly regular basis. They might not be too cut or edited. It might just be raw footage like, but um, if you guys really want me to cut and edit it, I can. It just means you'll get less content. You'll get a lot less content. So. Let me know if you just want to see me play the game, raw footage, or if you prefer me to cut it and edit it. If I cut it and edit it, it'll be like one or two videos a week. If you just want raw footage, it might be more than that. It might be like three or four videos a week. So you guys let me know what you think. Um, I'm just basically doing this after I stream, or before I stream. 
We'll see if it ends up taking up too much time. Right now I can do it because Estrella and uh, my daughter are both out of town. So it makes it a little bit easier to do this. But who knows if I'll be able to do this after they get back. So it might end up being not much of a choice anyway. It might just be raw footage or nothing. But tell me what you guys prefer. Let me know. Mushrooms. Mushroom, mushroom. Look at all those bookshelves. Oh, beautiful. Ooh, nice. Schematic for a spiked club. All right, so we got a shirt. Oh, schematic for a shirt, cool. Schematic for a club. Learn how to make a spiked club, nice. Crafted in blueprint station with calipers. Ooh, interesting. Iron helmet, crafted in blueprint station with calipers. So I'm gonna need a blueprint station to make use out of those, but still pretty cool. Let's grab the iron pennies. Very nice. Pistol book. Alright. Got all of them? Cool. We can take apart these couches for leather. And we can use that to make our own forge. It's a pretty good find, this house. Any more clothing? Bandages and honey, I'll take that. I don't know why there's honey inside of the nightstand, but you know what? We don't argue. Got a cooking pot, also. Actually, not sure when I got that, but I got it. Lead trophy. That is locked. We'll just break in anyway. Uh, I'll do that off camera. I'll do that off camera. I wish I had a wrench. I could take apart these chairs and the lights in here for parts. Maybe we'll find one though. Oh, there's a hidden bag up here. Look at that. It's not too well hidden, but still. Ooh, nice. Got a good weapon out of that. Very nice. Alright. So I think that is it for this place. I'm going to say this is where we're going to end the episode. If you liked the episode, make sure you leave a like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And also leave a comment. Let us know, do you want more episodes of just raw footage like this? About an hour of footage or do you want me to cut it down to about a half hour if that's the case I'll probably only get one or two out a week but let me know in the comments down below what you think I am going to stick with this mod and this series and we're going to put out some episodes of the single player version of this uh, really really enjoying it and yeah I really like it we'll also be streaming on our patreon server every Friday so lots of seven days content coming up for you guys hopefully as well as HOTS content. And then in November, we'll be getting out some Diablo content when the new season starts. But uh, that was a really long outro. Uh, like, favorite, share, subscribe, love me. Bye.